already know what time it is. It's your boy, Mac B. Sports Hot Media, we are back at it. I'm in the building. I got my co-host, Capisha, in the building. Capiche. You know it's official. And I got my player partner. I got BZ on the couch today, man. What's up, player? How you feeling? I'm doing good, man. How y'all doing? Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming, man. We're glad to have you here, man. So let's just jump right in, family. So talk to me about musically. Who inspired you, man, to get in the game? How long have you been spitting, man? Um, for since like 12th grade. Okay. Senior year, so probably like 11, uh, probably more than that, long time. Many moons. Yeah, like 13 years. Okay. But for maybe five consistent to where I was taking it serious. You know, back then I was in high school, so I was playing around. I didn't really start getting serious around like 2014, 15. Okay. And, and tell me, like, what are the MCs that inspired you to do what you do, man? I'm um, growing up. It was probably more like Tupac, Biggie, Fifty okay. Cent. You right. know, a lot of uh, R&B, Lauryn Hill, a lot of old yeah. Rappers. Okay. Just growing up in the household, my mom a music head, my dad. So that's what kind of gave me that like, ear for music. So you know, as I got older, I just started catching that soul vibe. I wanted to put my emotions on the beat too and see what I could do. Strictly hip hop, or was there any kind of like like blues, reggae, gospel? Yeah, my grandfather. My grandfather was big on. Okay. Reggae, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Gospel, all that. My grandpa opened that door up for me. Okay. You know, he got me into like Bob Marley and all that Dope. type of stuff. But my mom and him, I don't really recall them listening to that type of music. My grandfather, for sure, though. My grandmother was more Aretha Franklin. You know, people like that. But my grandpa, for sure, opened that door. That's all he did with the blues, and jazz, and shit like that. Right, right. Do you remember the moment when you recorded your first track, man, when you, whether it was just in, in, in the crib, right, with a pen and pad, maybe no music, or maybe a cappella, or maybe you was freestyling over another beat. Do you remember that moment? Yeah, I do. So I was in my senior year of high school, and I had everybody, I used to be an athlete as well. Okay. So a couple of dudes on my football team, they did music, but they was just playing around. Yeah. So we was kind of all just sitting at my boy house, and they threw on the beat, and we like, we gonna make a song, like an anthem for the school. So we like, all right, cool. And they like, I think you should get on here. Your voice might fit. You know, right. This time, I didn't know how to rap. This is the first time I ever written anything. That's you know, it. and then when we passed the CD out at school, <laughs> everybody like, bro, your verse was kind of hard. Uh, yeah. time, I'm like, right. You wasn't feeling it. Yeah, but then as I grew, I always looked back to that moment. Like, yeah. Okay, I can do it. You know, and then I just grew into who I am today. That's right, me. right. What high school? I went to Golden Valley High School. So when I first, when I when I um, before I made my transition, mm -hmm. I went to Centennial High School in Dominguez and Compton. Okay. But you know, I started growing fast, and my grandmother lived in Bakersfield, where she's originally from there. Oh, so wow. I made that transition, and I graduated from high school out there. Wow. Okay. What was it like out there in the desert, man? In the six six one, what was that like? It was, um, at the time, it was annoying. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because I was still young. I was used to growing up fast, being with friends that I grew yeah. up with. So going out there, I, I was more focused because it was slow. Right. So I was able to focus on football and that was it. Okay. You know, I can honestly say like now looking back, it saved my life for sure. Yeah. You know, yeah. for a long time I had spite for my mom. Like, dang, why you move me out here? But once I like learned what she did it for, it was like that was probably the best thing she could ever did because she seen what I couldn't see. That's major. That happened with me actually. My mom moved me out the hood to the suburb, you know, not suburbs, but like to the better area exactly so, I was more focused. so that actually happened with me right Crazy. it's deep man you say that because you know sports realistically man it saved a lot of lives man Definitely. including mine you know i just i grew up without a pops man so just to learn that element of discipline responsibility leadership fundamentals of life like it's much bigger than you know just just football and pads and, and lining up and hitting people you know a lot of people don't understand the value mm -hmm. associated with sports man so I respect you, you know, for even even going that route, man, because I can totally relate yes, to what you're saying. Um, let's pivot from the studio and, and making the records to you actually getting on stage and getting down, man. Um, tell me about your stage show and uh, you got any upcoming shows? Right. Are you working on anything where you're going to be playing live somewhere? Um, that's kind of like here and there. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, I do everything independently. Yeah. So right now, my career is like when people reach out to me, like I got this lot for you. Do it. Mm -hmm. But as far as that, it kind of come and go. I'm looking forward to doing the show soon. I just don't know what's one. It'd be different opportunities. But I'd be at a point now to where like, I got to pick and choose what I really want to do, depending on the crowd, the venue, you know, what's right. the music being played. Right. It got to make sense. Definitely. Right. Right. That's right. It's, it's a business, man. Yeah. Speaking of business, uh, 
The self-made empire uh, yeah, is yeah, in the building, sure. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show everybody watching, man. Kind of get them a, a better view of that, man. I like the color. Okay, you got that. You got that Texas Longhorn yeah. orange going. Hey, I mean. it's crazy. You caught that though. <laughs> oh man, yeah. I caught it. Yeah, you caught that. That yeah. was my whole thing. Like, man, I'm. Like, I want to go with the Longhorn, the Longhorn orange because I always liked it. But I'm like, let me throw that on my brand. And see how it looks. And put it together. How did that come about, man? Um, just because I feel like a lot of things that I've accomplished so far, I've done them by myself. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I might as well brand it with self-made. Then I'm also I'm actually a part of the group too, GMZ. So I put the Get Money Gang on there just to show okay. respect and love to my boys too. That's so. dope, man. I'm loving that, man. I'm loving that. Um, there's a joint that you have, man. You know, it's it's the the music video and and BZ Santana TV. Right. How did that come about, man? Who produced that? And how did that come about, the video? Um, my boy Hakatiwi, he actually from, he from Germany. And it's really? crazy, cause me and this dude, we never we never met in person. Wow. We never met in person. I was in prison, and he just used to see me working. He reached out like, bro, I feel your music. I feel like we can work together. And he used to send me beats. Okay. You know, man, and then I just continued to work with him. He like the only person I really feel comfortable working with the crazy part we never met like, that's <laughs> really good. that's deep fam that's, yeah. that's that's hella cool okay well we got a little clip of the video so you know solomon let's peep game on the campaign man I walk in mom's another level on that YouTube channel. It's a slapper I just smile though. and I hug her after. I got a lot to handle. Lot. My whole family probably come to me. To me. Cause that price went up, ain't nothing free. BZ need a fee. This fake love, I've been getting y'all think it's real. When I'm in this booth, I be getting chills. From depressing to expression lead to yeah. progression. <laughs> I'm working harder, nigga, both flexing. That, they see this smile uh, on my face, but it's getting turned. Uh, you scream for help, but I don't think they heard you. They heard you. They heard you. Lil baby see me spazzing out on Snapchat. I was chained up, now I'm unlatched. My style unmatched. Okay. Alright, alright. I, I see it. I see the bars. I like that joint, man. Thank you know, you, you spitting some bars, man, but also talking about some real game. Definitely. You know, so I, I had to like shine a light on that, man. That's a dope track, man. And the fact that the cat that produced the joint, you never even met him. That's wow. Cool. Cool. Not not formally, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we right. talk like over the phone. Yeah. And, whatever really not even actual phone conversations right. it was just more so like bro i see i see what you can be bro like you know i want to work with you i'm like cool that's a good look you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. he just seen what i was doing i happened to be on youtube and i was like man, let me hit this dude up because i want to buy the beat and, yeah you know, and then i'm like i did the song mind you i'm doing these songs with the phones at the time yeah and i'm sending them to him and i guess he's seen the potential in it made you know wow he, work with you so wow. I got locked in with him ever since. Wow, that's Good dope. Life. So you did you initially drop that when you was locked up? Or? No, I didn't. I okay. definitely did not. I did okay. that since I've been home. Okay. But I'm saying that's how that That's how the home. relationship started. Yeah. Wow, that's dope, man. And you know, hey man, a, a lot of homies of mine are still behind those walls, man. So prayers up for all the homies yes, out there during that time, man. A lot of them are innocent too. They're like this. You know what I mean? It'd be like that, man. And and Let's pivot to family life, you know. Uh, you got a daughter, right? Yes, sir. Talk to me about being a father, man, and, and the family component and how you separate this rap game mm -hmm. from the responsibilities of being a dad. Right. So basically, if I'm being completely honest, like prior to going to prison, I went to prison for almost seven years. Yeah. You know, and I got out in January 2022. So our relationship was kind of, you know, rocky due to right. being absent all right. that time. All that time. You know, so as of now, it's still getting... It's getting, it's getting better. You know, it's slow, mm -hmm. but it's, it's, it's progressing. You know what I'm saying? So right. I can't, I can't complain about it because at the end of the day, as a man, I took accountability for being right. absent and whatever. You know, because I missed a lot of stuff in her life, and she probably just missed me in general. I never really know how she feel because she's still kind of too young to yeah. express herself. But you know, I do everything that I can do to let her know like I'm here, be ready. Right, right. It's still a beautiful thing, man. Yeah, and definitely. there's still so much time. Ahead. Yeah, and it's not like it's a broken relationship. It just is a lot of time in between. Right. You know, so right. I think for her, it's more like comfortability. Yeah, it's a process, man. Definitely. It's a process like anything. And the beauty of that relationship, man, is is as the years progress, she going to learn a lot from you. But I feel like, you know, you might even learn a few things from her. Mm -hmm. You know, kids are, are much smarter and, and they're much more influential than what people actually believe. You know what I mean? Absolutely, yeah. They actually really pay attention to it. It's crazy because 
one day we was just um, texting or whatever, and she came out the blue like, Dad, like, your song TV, that's my favorite song. And it kind of tripped me out, because I'm like, all right, my daughter listened to my music. Yeah. You know, because I'm wondering, like, how? You know, because it's like she must have heard it somewhere or, you know, but it, it, it made me feel real good that she acknowledged that. Right. You know, because being how the relationship was, I'm like, my daughter, she's just doing her. She ain't really tripping on me. Like, right. For her to mention that to me, it really made me feel That's good. big. That's deep, man. And what's crazy, you know, our our children, man, they're watching even when you think they're not. They're watching, man. Absolutely. Everything you do, how you move, what you say, you may get caught up in the moment, man. We all do. Right. But they're watching, man. They're they're, they're taking all that in. You know what I'm saying? So that's what's so special about the whole experience. You feel me? Sure. It 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 definitely makes you want to be better. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Whether you show it in every way you choose right you know it's like my attention is locked kind of thing right that be good like, you know she gotta know regardless i'm here whether it's right. this much time this much time like you can always come to me no matter mm. what mm. it's always gonna be genuine you know right. my attention always gonna be the best for me. right right well i tip my cap to you family man for yeah. being there for being present in her life you're watching sports hot we got bz on the couch we're gonna take a break don't you go nowhere capisha's in the building as well you already know what time it is. It's your boy, Mac B. I got an official announcement to make. February 11th, Sin City, Las Vegas. Guess what's happening? We rooftoping, y'all. It's on and popping. Guess what we got? We got guest DJs. We got celebrity invites. We got athlete invites. We got some cheerleader invites. Everybody might pull up. We got a full bar. We got food. We got good vibes. We got football, fun, fashion. If you about that, and you wanna have a good time, this will be the party of the decade. You already know how I roll and how I rock. It's your boy, Mac B. So y'all know what time it is. Y'all watching the show, scan the QR code, eventbrite.com, vegaswatchparty.com. Scan the QR code, it'll take you directly to the site where you can purchase tickets February 11th. It's going down on the roof of Larry Flint's Hustler Club. It's our first live event on that level in Vegas. I already got confirmation. We got some NFL players pulling up. I got some WNBA players pulling up. I got some volleyball women pulling up. And y'all better come pull up because it's on and popping. And don't call my phone the day of asking me to get you in because I will be occupied. Enough. Enough. (laughs) With that being said, Let's Pivot family, you know, one of my realest ones in the streets, man, that actually linked us up big titter big titter. talk to me about your your connection with big titter big to the boy shout out to compton and big to the boy yes, one of the realest cats ever in this game big and brother. i mean that sincerely man yes, talk to me on how that connection came about and, and your relationship yeah. musically with him man. yeah so me and uh big titter we actually from the same from the same area okay so Big Tittle was already, he was always, you know, a little yeah. older. So I'm growing up OG. looking up, you know what I'm saying? OG. Right, 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 right. So our connection was already from where we both come from. You know what I'm saying? But when it came to music, it was different. Bro just seen something in me and he just like, I gravitated to him and gravitated to me. So he helped me elevate a lot with the way I think, the way I choose to do music. He just gave me kind of like, you know, that big brother, that big brotherly love. Mm-hmm. I want to see the best for you. So any opportunity I got for you, I'm going to slide it your way. It's genuine. I don't want nothing mm. back because he truly believes in me. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate it. That's cool. Right, yeah. right. He's a real one, man. Definitely, for sure. Kind of like a mentor? Yeah, sense. definitely. He called me, That's give me a game on whatever. If I post something, he always give me my credit. Let me yeah. know how better I'm getting. Or, you know, he don't never really critique nothing negative. You know, he just called me before I got here, actually. Right. Bro, when I listen to you, I look at you like a worldwide artist like you. You damn friend. You know, he always yeah. motivate me to continue to go, give me that that confidence I may need at a time. You know, because I be going through a lot of stuff. Too. Right. But bro makes sure all he do. tap in. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Yeah. You know, he one of them people, he don't just look at what you're going through and just sit back. He actually jump in and like where your mental at, how you doing, bro? You yeah. Need anything. Like he a real one. He rare, man. Yeah. Like, yeah. Man. Love and respect to bro. Shout out to Big to the boy, one of the realest cats I've ever met, and nothing but love and respect. Um, speaking of respect, man, we're going to pivot to sports because this is sports. Hot. Do it. I'll, uh, 
Uh, football playoffs are here. I mean, we got Kansas City and the Ravens. Let's we go. got the Niners. Let's go. Bang, bang. Let's go. And the Detroit Lions. Um, tell me what your thoughts are on those games. Mm-hmm. And also, who's your team? Baltimore Ravens. I'm a okay. Raven. I've been a Raven fan since I was a little kid. I saw a picture of you with the Raven, with the Raven jersey. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So you a real Raven fan. Real one. Tied it on my flesh and everything. Ooh, it ain't just, it ain't okay. just start. You know what I'm saying? I was a fan back when Dilford was a quarterback and mm. I was a little kid. Yeah. You know, and it's crazy. Ray Lewis and them boys. Definitely. Ed Reed. All them boys. Definitely. Yeah. So how I became a fan was my cousin, my cousin TK. He had a jersey, a Ray Lewis jersey. Yeah. I'm a little kid. We probably playing Madden 2000 or something. Yeah. And I just, it was the purple one. And it just stood out to me. And honestly, it's the first authentic football jersey I ever seen. You know, of course, growing up, my mom used to like the Rams. So we was like, yeah. we thought we was Ram fans until I seen the jersey. I'm like, damn, I like that color. So now playing Madden, that's the only team I play with. So mm. I just been, that's been my team ever since. Mm. So, Shout out to the Ravens and Lamar Jackson, who yes. is going to win the MVP. Definitely. Uh, they got their hands full this weekend against Kansas City, though. You, It's hard to bet against Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, I man. mean, you know, I'm just keeping it 100. But, sure. but either way, man, the way I see it, whether it's Mahomes or Jackson, another black quarterback on the biggest stage. Yeah. You can't deny, like, the growth. You can't deny yeah. what they tried to hold back for a long time, Definitely. right? So I'm loving that, man. And, and on the other side, you know, the 49ers and the Lions, Jared Goff going into San Francisco and, and Purdy, you know, I think the Niners are going to advance. I think it's going to be the Niners. I'm going to keep it real. You're going to hate me for this. Don't hate me for this, right, Beasy. Go ahead. I think it's going to be the Niners in Kansas City. Yeah. I'm just keeping it real. So? I could be wrong, you know, but something tell me with Andy Reid and Patrick Mahomes, boy, they got a plan up their sleeve. But Lamar Jackson... I'm going to be happy either way, you know, because Lamar Jackson has never been on that level in terms of going to a Super Bowl. But his play, you know, speaks for itself. Yeah. You know. I don't, I don't man. Honestly, not only as a fan, I think the season we had and Ooh. how it transpired. Yeah. You know, and the teams that we defeated. I personally really think that we going to smash them. Okay. That's just me. But yeah. as a real fan, I would never count Patrick Mahomes out. Never. Yeah. You feel me? I just, I'm more so like, all right, if we find a way to stop Patrick Mahomes, easy W. But if yeah. he going all game, it's going to be a long game for sure. Right, right, right. Well, Mark Andrews, the tight end, is coming back. Sure. You know, so Lamar going to have his tight end back. That's going to be a huge, huge element. Yeah. So shout out to the Baltimore Ravens, to the Let's Kansas go. City Chiefs, to the San Francisco 49ers, to the Detroit Lions, you know, and, and Dan Campbell turning around the Lions. I mean, they were in the basement for years, man. And, and I'm just happy to see that city's alive. People are believing. You know, that's what sports does, right? It just brings people together. Definitely. You feel me? And that's why I love it so much. Um, hey, fam, I, I, a little birdie told me you got some kicks, man. You know, I do. Th- this dude got over like two, 300 pairs of shoes, man. So, hat. Capiche kicks. Y'all watching the yeah. show, you need some Big kicks. Tap in with him, man. He the got everything. Kids, you already know what it is. So what we showcasing this week, man? This is the Dodger dunks. I know it's not football, but hey, we talking sports, you know what I mean? Okay. So we got awesome. some baseball Dodger dunks right he here. Game on the campaign. Okay. Super dope. It got the bubble gum right here on the bottom, too. Ooh, <laughs> yeah, those are fly, man. Yep. SP. What you thinking, BZ? Yeah, these nice right here. Yeah. I definitely. I would rock them. Yeah. They say welcome on one, and then the other one have okay. a palm tree. It, so just the one has the palm tree inside? Yep. The okay. one has the palm tree, the left one, and the right one has the welcome sign. So it's kind of like a, you know. Y- y'all Dodger, watching, you know what I mean? the West Coast type. Got the little palm vibe. tree swag. Yeah, these nice right here. Yeah, these you know are I mean? dope. Some like SBs. The, the SBs, man. With BZ, you got the SBs here. Yeah, sir. BZ. BZ and the SBs. <laughs> Uh-oh. BZ, sir. BZ, man. Something happening. A little collab. Yeah, okay, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, hey. Come together, man. Yeah, these are pretty tough. And I like the shade of blue. Like, it's not your typical blue, but it's still hella fly. Like a midnight metallic blue, right? Nice, BZ. royal. So it's, it's nice, man. And you got the palm tree on the inside of the tongue right there. Okay, I'm not mad at it, man. Not bad, right? Twenty. These came out you, 2022. Right. Are you keeping these, fam? Or are you going to slang? I'm, I'm a, I'm a rock them. Yeah, because these I'll are dope, would. man. Yeah, definitely. Sure. I haven't I seen these, them, though. But, uh, I haven't either. With the bubblegum little, little flavor? Yeah, right you already know that. Vibe. Okay, y'all watching the show, 
Yay or nay? Y'all going to rock these? It's Yay or nay? What y'all doing with them, man? Is this a cop or a drop? I think it's a cop all day long. Definitely a cop. Yeah, so the pink at the bottom got oh, me so. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. That's that bubble. And bubble. the lace yeah. options? Yeah. Like different okay. Too. The you white, got the red, red you got the white. Okay. I'm not mad at that. Okay. A little stitching, you know. The SBs. Okay, Capiche, you really came with the heat. Of course, man. I'm wearing heat. You already know that. I'm already knowing how you roll, man. Ridiculous, too, man. (laughs) Yeah, them hot too. Those are dope. I just put these bad boys on. Look at these. Mm. Supreme Dunks. Okay. Ridiculous. Yeah, those are dope. Yeah, these are fire right here. They are fire, but I gotta say, I, I would rock this fuck over that. With those. I, I'm sorry, man. I, I fuck with those. The SBs. <laughs> BC, what you feeling, man? I wear both of them. <laughs> yeah. You like, I, I, I go I'm, either I'm way. I'm like a, a black type of guy, you yeah. know? Yeah. I love black, right. black clothing. Yeah, like, okay. I just love how black look on me. So I wear, okay. you catch me in black. So I rock them. But if I wanna feel like, you know, a little colorful, I'm definitely gonna rock them. Yeah. 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 No, they both, they both fly, they man. They both hot for sure. Yeah. But yeah, I just, man. Okay, coming with the heat. Yeah, gotta come with the heat all day, man. Capiche, you already know what it is. That's what it is. BZ, everybody who's watching the show, man, let them know what time it is, like, uh, social media-wise. Like, what is is your Instagram? I don't know if you're on X, formerly Twitter. Yeah. Let let people watching the show know where they can find you. You got a website. Just let them know what's happening. Yes, sir. You can find me and everything I got going on on Instagram. Beezy, B-E-Z-Y dot S-B. Instagram, also all platforms. And my YouTube is my actual artist name, Beezy Santana. B-E-Z-Y Santana, S-A-N-T-A-N-A. Okay, for sure. And, and y'all know what it is already over here. At Sports Hop Media. At Mac B M A C K B is in boy dot underscore at Sports Hop Media at Mac B Capiche tell them what's happening. Yeah, you already know Capiche Kicks, Capiche underscore Kicks or Capiche Kid. You already know what it is. And Capiche on YouTube. Check out the music video. You already know what time it is. Oh. February 11th on the roof of Larry Flint's Hustler Club in Vegas. It will be a movie. We starting at 12 o'clock. Doors are opening early. We pre gaming. We got a watch party during the big game, and after the game ends, we going into the night with guest DJs. So it is on and popping. I got some NFL players pulling up. I got some WNBA players, and we might have the volleyball squad, but we got a few surprises. You keep it locked. You watching Sports Hop. We got BZ in the building, my man Capiche. Let's get it. Thanks for watching Sports Hop. Subscribe here for all the latest news on hip-hop and sports. It's your boy, Mac B.